Leo. Yes, I'm Leo. I'm Detective Benjamin Benedict. Do you know why you're here today? Well, I'm here because I'm the witness that saw the murder that happened three nights ago on Howard Street. That's right. You're the one person who stands between peace and chaos in this city. The shooter you saw has been terrorizing our streets for the past two months. As far as we know, you're the only person that has seen their face. I need you to try to remember as hard as you can everything about the shooter. Can you do that? Yes. I can. Do you promise? I promise. The fate of the city rests in your mind. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. I have something that might help you remember. Okay. Now, the scientists at the police laboratories have developed a memory aid device. We are going to use it now. Let us proceed. Was the shooter a female? I don't like to assume, you know, pronouns, but for the sake of this investigation, I'm gonna go on record for saying that they probably prefer the he, him pronoun. Excellent, that helps narrow down the shooter from our list of 24 suspects. Was the shooter old? I mean, they were older than me, and I'm in my mid-20s. <laughs> was well, the shooter over 50? Uh, yeah, they were over 50. All right. I mean, no, they weren't over 50. It's so hard to tell with people get Botox and their faces change. No. Yes or no? They were in their 30s, and I'm certain of it. Excellent progress. Was the suspect wearing a hat? They were not wearing a hat. And I know that because I own a hat store and I can always tell when strangers on the streets would look better with hats on. And I am pretty confident that the killer was not wearing a hat. Excellent. One. Great, three suspects eliminated. All right, we're nearly there. Did the suspect have did the shooter have dark hair? The shooter did not have dark hair. And I know that because I had this ex who had blonde hair and it would always glimmer in the middle of the night. Like I'd wake up in the middle of the night and the hair would like be glimmering at me. It'd be like a flashlight in my face. <laughs> Anyways, the killer did not have bright colored hair. They had dark brown or black hair. Excellent. Yes, yes, all right. This final question may very well identify the shooter. Did the shooter have facial hair? They did have facial hair. I mean, if there's one thing that I can't forget about that night, it was that menacing grin they had behind that stubbly beard, and it was so grotesque and scary and terrifying. Excellent. Is this the shooter? Nope, nope, that's not the shooter. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. There must be something wrong with the memory aids device. Maybe it needs to be recalibrated. I'll have to take it to the laboratory now or sometime later. My assistant will show you out. Thanks, Detective Benedict. We're so close. Detective Bennett. You, it's not Eric, it's not Gabe, it's not Ben. Ben. Benedict. <gasps> Guess who?